top of the world. I'm rolling along. Yes, rolling along. All right, welcome Lego fans to our second biggest Lego review ever. So this is a very exciting review. Uh, second only. Of and some of you may like it better, sorry about the main camera, because it's not Lord of the Rings themed and not all of you like Lord of the Rings unfortunately. So. And some of you guys just might think that this is better. Right. So, some of you may think it's the best video on the channel yet. I think it's definitely in my top three. So, we'll show you every single detail that we can think of. Yes. And we'll have all kinds of funny things to say, I'm sure. <laughs> I am more than... I, I don't doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> and in case you haven't met them before, these are our favorite guest stars, Andrew1980.30. Hello. And Feyeno the second. Good day. And of course, I am the one and only Bilbo Booker 9. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> so... We'll go ahead and start you out with the specifics. So, if one of you could go and get the box, please. Oh, it's the box. Where is the box? The box is there, isn't it? Oh, oh yes. Here. The instruction manual right. here. Could you slide that back a bit, please? I don't want to. I don't want to mess up the display. No. Sorry. Oh, oh she died. The actress is dead. She collapsed. She collapsed in shock from all of her fans showing up. <laughs> Righty then. So you want to take it out? So that no, because I want to draw it. on it. Okay. Oh, it's look awesome. Nice. So of course this is Lego Creator. Um, <laughs> recommend ages sixteen plus. I can agree with those terms. Can you? Yeah. No. Well, oh, actually, wait. no, because no, I'm 15 and I finished building it. Yeah. Well, but we I... like the we like it when the plus 12 is here. Plus. Twelve yeah. plus. Twelve plus. So we like it when there's a plus there that means that you're not limiting how old you have to be to build Legos. Yeah, you can be 180 Lego, years old and still build this set. Yeah, yeah you can. Yeah. So the set number is 10232. Of course, this is the Palace Cinema, although it looks a lot like the Groman's Chinese Theater. Okay. And it is 2,194 pieces of epicness. And how many was Tower of Orthong? 1,800? No, it was 2,000-something. Oh, it was? 2000 I believe it was like 2,300. Oh. 2,300. Something like that. Uh, okay, so in comparison, there you go. And, of course, it is... A... Oh. Jouet de Construction. Or if we you're can't not French, see it. Trainers it's a building the toy. So, I'll go ahead and take the markings off of there. Oh, and by the way, this is labeled... Experts, so you have to be an expert hey, hey. to build it. Now, I think the main reason it's not actually that hard of a build. I actually thought the tower of Orthanc was harder to build. The reason they put that there is because it's only divided into three sections, whereas the tower was like twelve sections, and it was only a few pieces, a couple hundred pieces more. So, at any one time, you're going to have about eight hundred pieces lying around on your table. So make sure you have a big table and a lot of time. So uh, we'll go ahead and show you the box art here. Oh, and here's the size. It's uh, 15 inches tall or 38 centimeters and 10 inches wide or 25 and a half centimeters. They're showing you it is, uh, it can, you can easily tear it apart into three different sections. And then here are the minifigures of which you get six and then it shows you some of the smaller structures that are inside of the cinema itself. We you see the back. Right. Oops. Oh. Um, it shows, okay, so yeah, there's three sections. The first one, you're going to build this, and then the stretch limo, or the convertible, or whatever it is. Uh, second one, you build the actual cinema, and then third is the roof. And here, it just shows you some different display ideas, and some of the stuff that is inside the set. And then they show yes. you some other modular buildings that you can connect. Right, and it does set. come with the pins, so you can connect it to the other ones. This, I think, is actually kind of funny. It says that these two sets are not included in the same box just so that they're not false advertising. Right. That would be pretty uh -huh. bad if someone thought they were getting all of that. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. like, it just has this one on the box, but I'm actually getting three! Uh -huh. And then they go into Lego for false advertising. They could actually do that and win. 
Which is sad. Well, but they have that. Um, they have so that. They don't have yeah, to worry now, about n- that. Now they can't, but... So, very exciting box. And a very very box. exciting. Very detailed So if you can well. get the instruction manuals, I clip this back yep. on the tripod. Alright, so it comes with three instruction manuals. For each of the different sections. So we get three of them, of course, like all the larger sets, some of the steps do have lots and lots of pieces to each one. Uh, that's not a good example. <laughs> this one is the door. Contains a lot of pieces. No, in this one. one is better. Oh this yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen of those. Fourteen black skeleton feet. Yeah. And lots of other stuff. Whoa, whoa. Twelve. Well, thirty-two. Twelve. Thirty-two. There you go. I think that's the best. Have example. fun with that. Have fun. And of course, there's advertisements for much smaller sets on the back. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And this one just ends. And then the last book. Oh, by the way, you get to build the car and a few of the minifigures in the first box or set. The second part, uh, you get the rest of the minifigures. But you don't actually build the guardrails and the spotlights until the very, very end. It's the last thing you build, as a matter of fact. Which I find odd, but... This looks, actually, I think this looks like it's larger than the actual set, but... I thought it might be a bit taller, but... Mm, that's perspective. Yeah. And then parts list. One, so if you lose two, any of the pieces, you can three, four. Four pages of parts. That is a lot. And then here Sock are the large camel. ones. Well, they're, not, they're still not he's as large. Yeah, head. still not as large. And of course, you can join they're still the, expert, though. the Lego VIP program. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah. These still are the other expert, expert Lego creator sets. Well, some of them. Some of yeah. So okay. this one is an expert because it's a train and trains are always difficult, more difficult because they're different. And then this, this one, one's a because it has interesting. Yes. World War One flying. Ace. Yes. All right. And what's this? Oh, it's oh, um, your it. opinion counts. Your opinion counts. <gasps> I'm honored. Oh. Yay. What? <laughs> I said I'm honored. My opinion. Oh, oh. I you said you're a hundred. Oh, I'm a hundred. <laughs> My opinion counts, I'm a hundred. I'm a hundred years old. My I'm a hundred! It's my birthday. I'm a hundred years old and I'm still... <laughs> You're still younger than Bilbo was, though. Yeah. I'm still younger than Bilbo. <laughs> I'm still hanging out with these two youngsters here. <laughs> so, we've shown you everything anyway. that comes in the box and in the box itself that is not actually Lego. So we'll go ahead and show you that now after Feyenoord finishes destroying everything. <laughs> what? I'm not destroying anything. I'm getting the minifigures ready. Gosh. <laughs> we fight over which minifigures each of us is going to review. I'm sorry. Of course we do. <laughs> Why wouldn't we? We each got two, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. We yeah. have three. Oh. You have three? You have three. I've got two. No, you're reviewing <laughs> two. <laughs> all right, so I guess I'll go ahead and start with Oh. The, well, I think he's the first one. You, you have go. all male? <laughs> Are you trying to say something here? No, I'm not. Oh, my gosh, it actually recognizes that as a face. <laughs> oh. Whoa. That is awesome. That is funny. It's because of the smile. But you can't, yeah. um, you can't, I don't think they can see it on that. I don't think they can see it either, but yeah, it's actually picking up the minifigure's face as a real face. On his camera, uh... Let's see if it recognizes another one. <laughs> You're confusing it. You're confusing it. One at a time, people. Goodness. So this is the car driver. He's driving the child actress to the movie theater for opening night. Now, all these minifigures are pretty basic. They're um, based off of older minifigures because they've, in fact, they used the exact same pieces from that. So... Ah, 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 ah. He has three. Although I, no, I don't. Two. See? Oh. Two. Although I Two. do believe that uh, some of the torso pieces and stuff are new, but the heads are all very old. If you want that guy, go ahead. He's got... That's mine. Oh. That's this it. is so. Here's his hat. It can be a train conductor hat, a police officer hat. It can be just about anything. It can be the world. generic truck driver's hat. Yes, it can be. And he's got a very nice suit and tie on there. Can be generic hat. But no back printing. But none of you get that reference, most likely. 
All right, you go ahead and show them. Yes, show your cameraman. All right, here's the... The photographer. The photographer. What if the, the man with the camera? Okay, so, much of the same stuff. Well, for the head, that is. You get yeah, a much of it? <laughs> it's exactly the same. Exactly. Oh, uh, it is? No, uh, okay. actually, I'm sure that some of the molecules were different. <laughs> so here's a hat. Like Alan Grant. So Sorry, we're watching Jurassic Park tonight. Yeah. I don't know who that is. You do not know who Alan Grant is? I don't no, know who Alan Grant is. Why would he know who Alan oh, is? Goodness. He's the main character, maybe? Yeah, I know, but why yeah. would he know? Yeah, why would I know? At least he's, I thought you'd seen the movie one time before. I've seen the movie once. Yes, but how would I know? How would I know what Side actor? Tracking. Okay, keep going. Bet you've watched the Disney Channel show before once, and then if I asked you keep who going, played it, please. then you would not know. Like one in my whole life. Uh, let's not talk about that right and now. And it was a long time ago. The uh, only time I see is when I go over to cousin, my cousin's house. But keep going. That, that yes. Cool. Carry on. Random head. Random it's head. not picking it random. up anymore. It's not. It, it's random. Chaos theory. No, but why is that head random? Because it's just floating there, strangely staring at you. Okay. And now it's on the ground. <laughs> And another random hat that all belongs. And what else does he come? Uh, he comes with <laughs> a head on the side. Of the <laughs> <laughs> it's like a someone bird walks up to the and buy your tickets. Like, why is there a head on the side of the building? Because our featured movie today is the Brick Separator. <laughs> Actually, it is. We'll show you that. Later. Yeah, that is awesome. Okay. That is a picture. It's uh, it's in the old days well, I think, when the pictures a, actually like came out of the camera. Well, pe it actually, actually doesn't have a picture no, at no, all. No, 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 you are correct. You I actually, are remember correct. This it has is. no it has no picture at all on it. Oh, well, so what were they called? Supposed to be. What were they called? I forget what they were uh, called. Uh, pictures. <laughs> no, they weren't called that. They it was a certain type of camera that did that. I can't remember. Well, what I remember those. Either. Pulled uh, a very long time ago. Okay, uh, here's the camera. Give out false information. In here's series, the right? camera. I like the camera design very much. Mm -hmm. um, these pieces. Well, all cameras look like the that. The lens okay. piece is a very rare piece. This is two pieces, by the way. The camera and then the lens pops on. Oh, oh yes, the clear one. I could just throw this camera. Please do not. Okay, let's keep it like that. Although he, no, no. Oh yeah. <gasps> okay. You can't show another one. Here's his torso piece. He's dressed very nice as well. Not quite as nice as the other guy, but he's still dressed nice. Very good. And absolutely no back printing. I don't think any. Well, I guess. And no, no leg printing either. Now please put him back and together. Now it is I my will turn. put him back together. Yes. Don't worry. And then, okay, so I get to show too many figures and then I don't know who goes. But. I still. We've all got. Just show one. Just no, show but one. I get to show two in a row. Why? Because that's the way that he's they just were special. Built. Because he's we're special. not going in order. I thought that's matter. how you wanted to do it. No, it doesn't matter. Oh well. So since this guy is the uh, he's a concession stand operator. What Bilbo said, mm. I gave him some money. Two hundred dollars. Wow, that's a yeah, generous donation. A lot, of, a lot of popcorn. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. <laughs> that's that funny. I don't even stand. know when, what that's from. And then you this. You don't even know what it's from? No! It's from it's Jurassic a, Park. This is a blue version of the conductor or. It's not a conductor. Do you see a train <laughs> around or an orchestra? I said it's a blue version of the conductor, etc. hat. I don't see an orchestra or a train anywhere. You were the one who used this as a conductor, oh, etc. Train driver. Hat. It's using the audience. <laughs> You're confusing me. It's audience. a blue version Everyone's of this hat. Everyone's confusing the audience. Exactly. Even me. And, and he know has how. the generic, generic, smiley face. The generic smiley face. I don't know how, how do oh. I clear this. I don't know how to clear this. Uh, <laughs> and then clear. He, he has a very very plain yes. torso. Blue and white stripes with a red bow tie. And white pants. And that is our... Wait, all of these people are generic. 
They're all generic beasts. Well, no, they all have occupations. Yes, but they're all generic. Now here, I believe, is supposed to be the um, projector operator or maybe the movie theater the owner. I can't think of projector how operator or projector -ness. I believe theater owner. this guy has Aldrich Killian's hairpiece. Okay, for those who? of you who don't know who that is, he's from Marvel Iron Man Heroes. Three. He's the he's the main bad person in okay. Iron Man Three. This is an interesting hairpiece for sure. Yeah, not a hairstyle I particularly care for. He and maybe like Hawkeye. I'm yeah. not sure. I don't think Hawkeye has the same hairpiece. No, he has a different one. My same hair. head, of course. And I love this guy because he's got a pocket watch. My oh. science teacher told me one time, only gentlemen carry pocket watches. No, really? Oh, wow. Wait. I know somebody who isn't a gentleman, but he carries a pocket watch. Yeah. So that's a lie. Of course. Well, 99%. But of course. And so he's got his pocket watch and his very, very nice clothes there. He's wearing some nice white gloves there. And then he's the first one, I believe, that we've seen that has any back printing. It's not a whole lot, but it's better than nothing, right? So you go ahead and show the... The actress? The actress, or just the, the moviegoer. And a girl. Movie -goer. Actress slash moviegoer slash female girl. <laughs> and a girdle for some random reason. I guess All the right. time period sake. Here's yeah, the hair. Here's the hair piece, sort of like it's same hair piece as Poison Ivy, not the same color, but same hair. He's obsessed with Lego Marvel superheroes. If you couldn't tell, that was that's DC. That's DC. Oh, I'm sorry. You should be very ashamed Sup of yourself. He's obsessed with Lego superheroes. DC. And although, I don't like DC that much. Why anyway. he would say that it's um, Poison Ivy's when actually it's I just know a this generic. is the one of the most common hair pieces for Lego yeah. women that is available. Well, I just, I don't have many Lego women, so I don't know what to choose from. So just say it's a typical hair piece. It's a typical hair piece. Well, I don't have a single one of those. Really? I yes. I that shocking. Yeah, huh? You have Poison Ivy's. No, oh. no, I don't. Had. I had. I did not particularly own it. It was from Do you realize how okay, okay. our audience is getting because of your bickering? <laughs> It wasn't here is the yeah, here is another generic head that shall be on the <laughs> theater. The book separators here. Uh. Ah! The book separator. <laughs> the child actors. <laughs> Don't tell them. Don't. But that's ruin it the for them. that's that's the creepiest part, isn't it? Yes, it is. Don't ruin Keep it going. for the audience. Keep okay. Going. Here is the torso piece. Not much I can say about it. Oh, it, 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 it's it's very ornate. If you turn it around, then you can. It actually kind of looks like, like an Oriental theme, honestly. With the, eh. the like the. What is Oriental? The um. From the Orient, or, uh, Chinese, Japanese, oh, Korean. Okay. The basic like idea is the basic design is, and you can tell that it's a girdle now, which kind of was like what? <laughs> I mean. It, it's it, but it's because it's a period. Can you show set, the back of it? Expecting. I already did. Oh, you did. There. Okay, and then just some red legs. Let's, see Let's move on. All right. That reminded me of a joke I heard. There, there was this. Do we want to hear? There was a woman with a red head. No hair, just a red head. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you okay. watch Bobrico 9's channel, you get weirdness. <laughs> no, yeah, that, that, that was first said. Disclaimer. At, probably first said by um, Jimmy Nesbitt, who plays Bofer. I don't remember that. Keep going, please. It's, this it's is taking awesome. far too long. <laughs> okay. Fuck. This. Fuck. This, this child this, actress. This thing is going to be really long anyway. I mean, seriously, this isn't. Yeah, I've been showing these many figures. Longer for than it needs to be. Long. Whatever. So she and her also name carries is a mini figure. Mini figure. I hope Enough you all said, right? get the joke. And, and here's if you don't, her then piece, I will tell you. Also very typical. Not right yes. now, but generic. In the two, in two hundred years. I believe Short, the torso. I believe the torso and maybe the legs as well are exclusive. Uh, I don't know so about the torso a, though. A good look. I mean, it it probably is, but I feel like I've seen that design before. I I haven't seen any of the other designs. Except for... It's a very nice torso piece, nonetheless, one. even if it isn't exclusive, yes. though. So we'll go ahead and show you the other items that are not part of the actual cinema. 
here we have two guardrails so you can form queues to buy tickets and get inside the theater and for the concession stand and all that. Interesting design here. Uh, this is actually a skeleton foot, except we never see it in black, of course. And we actually get a lot of these black skeleton feet in the set. We only saw them in black in the Lego Castle theme yes. a yes. long time ago. Very long time ago. So we get two of these, but then we get tons of these black skeleton feet. You'll see those later. In fact, you may be able to see them now. And then spotlights. Yeah, you get two spotlights made with these really cool, especially this piece right here, these like chrome colored spotlights, spotlight bases. And then this is how you make the light itself, a chrome spotlight piece and then a clear one. Right. So you get two of those spotlights and two of the guardrails. That's not loose, so put it back. Yes, but it isn't part of the cinema. Neither is the pavement. The pavement is complete. We'll show that later. Okay, fine. And the final loose object is the car. You build that right after you build a few of the minifigures. So I think it's a very nice design on the car. Um, lots of the black pieces, of course. There's Now, we don't get a license plate, which is kind of strange. We usually get license plates on the Maybe we get pulled first. over because they don't have a license plate. Yeah, they can, they can be pulled over. They're drug dealers. Or... An angry or, or mobsters. Yeah, mobsters. <laughs> are we really talking about this in your video? Yes. yes. We are. Oh, so, hey, it's, it's the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> yeah. So there's the backlights. Here are the headlights, and we here's some more of these awesome uh, clear pieces that are not studs. Very very rare pieces. Uh, the They're clear on ones. Top. The yeah. clear ones. Yes. You do see a few others in different colors, but typically clear is very difficult right. to find. Windshield right there, steering wheel, and you can fit probably no more than three people in the car. And of course, it does roll. It does. It's a it car. does take effort to put three people in there. Not really. Yeah, it, it does. Four people would take effort. No, no, no. Because the person is supposed to sit here. Right. And then one person. You can't here. see anything. Okay. And then somebody here. We still can't see anything. We still can't see anything. There. So it's still very, quite difficult to get. Yeah. Uh, so I suppose it's really people. meant for two. That's what they have on the. Right. Just the driver and one other person. Yeah, the driver and the actress, or actor. If you right. felt like doing it that way. So very nice. Um, I'm gonna call it. A convert a limo. Because it limo. looks like a cross between a limo and a convertible to me. Very nice. I'm sure it's some old car design, though, that's not around anymore. Oh, and one other thing to note. The door is open, of course. Are we actually going to get to the theater now? Now we can get to the theater. And we can point out all the awesome details. Every First, we have to show one. the pavement. So we still can't <laughs> get to the theater. theater. First, we must show the pavement. If it's actually like very cool. Yes, yeah. it is. Oh, um, one thing to note. The entire structure Ooh, is yes. on a giant red base plate. I don't think I've ever seen a red one in my life. Yes, so this is a very cool, nice red base plate. You'll be able to see lots of it inside because they've ruled out the red carpet, of course. So the entire that's base not plate... The red carpet. That's what they told us in the designer video, so yes, it is. I don't care what they tell you in the designer video. It's the designer video. If it was the red carpet, then they should have a red carpet. He's so picky. I swear. So it's uh, the entire thing is on a great red, a giant Hashtag red base plate. So the pavement itself has lots of these very cool Hollywood star pieces. Kind of Hollywood. Those star. are not stickers. They are printed. No, so. they're Lego wood star pieces. Lego wood. Yes. Lego wood. Or brick wood. Yeah, brick wood star yeah. pieces. So you get one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight of those on the pavement there. I don't believe you get any extras though. And then I thought they were exclusive to the set, but then Andrew brought over the Legoland exclusive set, and they were there's only one in there though. So I think that they're extremely rare, but they're not entirely exclusive to the set. Mm -hmm. And it's a very nice design on the pavement, even besides those. You got yep. some. You got like the grading gradings for if there's a rainstorm. And this, I really like right. this. And then, of course, here is a street lamp. Clear minifigure head. Exactly. 
And we're going to go ahead and show you the entire exterior before we get inside. So I guess we'll go ahead and mount it on the tripod. So let's go ahead and show the movie posters. So the first one, if you didn't catch our joke earlier, is the brick separator. And it's a play on Godzilla, I think. And it includes Astrid Greyback? Yep. Gray Brick. Gray, Gray Brick. One thing I want to note about that is that these two names, uh, Astrid Gray Brick and Jordan Montalegon, are plays on the actual designers of the set's names. I forget their actual names, but I know one of them, their first name is Astrid, and the other one, his first name is Jordan. So they've been, they put some plays on a name there just for the, the seal of... We made this set? Yeah, like the, mm -hmm. the seal of I made this yep. that everybody wants to put in anything that they make. The next movie that they're showing is... Now, I don't really like this one because it has absolutely no Lego theme. It doesn't even yeah. look like Lego. Mystery on the monorail. So, I don't... I really don't like this poster. I think they should have come up with something a little more clever. And it doesn't look like Lego, and the title of the movie has no Lego theme, so mm -hmm. I don't really like it. But the next one... The last one is uh, Romance, Forever Sorting. On with Diane Plate with Clark Brickster. Now, I don't think these are the actual Lego designers. I don't know what they are. They may be plays on real actors' names from a long time ago, but I wouldn't know that because I don't watch a whole lot of old movies. I do watch a few, though. And, oh, they look so cute holding their little Lego bricks there. Aww. A big heart. <laughs> so, they're showing a uh, very, they have a nice varied selection of movies to choose from. We've got a horror movie, an action movie, or actually a, a mystery, a movie, and that's an action and horror. And then we have a love movie, of course. And then we also have an unknown. Oh, yes. Oh, no, it is. A musical. Yes, we have a musical as well, and that's what's showing tonight. Three Clicks and a Snap, starring Minnie Figure. And that is, those are stickers, by the way. Oh, um, that's terrible. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then this one on the side as well. Tickets, 30 cents. Wow, remember those were the good ones. Oh, days. yeah. Now it's tickets, $30. I know. No, it's about $5. $7. No, yeah. it's like 5 to 15 But no, um, 5 $15 if you're watching, like, a, a Hobbit movie. $5 if you're watching anything else. No, not no. at all. I mean, it depends on 3D, the time uh -huh. of day. But you're talking anywhere from yeah, uh, $5 and, and to $20. Then, no, nowadays. 5 and then if you are one of the people who goes to the midnight premieres or any uh, sort of And premiere. don't even get me started on the concessions. Yeah, I, I, I just don't get concessions. They're so expensive. And that tells you the times the movie's showing. Not a whole lot of times. 2, 5.30, and 8 o'clock. This is probably the 8 o'clock showing. Because the... Well, there's plenty of light outside right now. Yep. Yeah. Well, and the box cover, it's nighttime. We're filming it in daytime. And right the instruction manual. Yes. No, no, there's plenty of light outside the theater right now. The theater? Really? The cinema. <laughs> Theater. You you call the inside where they show the movie the theater, and yet you call it the cinema every other time. That makes perfect sense. And then they have of another course. one of those on the other side. Lots of lights. Uh, we got, uh, I think there's like 24 uh, yellow studs underneath here to shed some light on the front door. We, we, also wanna, some we don't want to make the entrance look dark and creepy. Uh -huh. Sure you do. That's... <laughs> Now, fan or wood, but uh, anyone who's sane. The horror theater! And then lots of light. There's tons of lights in this set, um, or things that are supposed to be lights. Some more on the sign, and then tons on the marquee. That is the proper term for the big sign out front. And, of course, on the side there it says palace. It's a little hard to read, especially the A's. They could have done a little better job on but that does read palace, and you can clearly read that on both sides. My question is why they put uh, Technic bricks in instead of just regular bricks. It's for the holes, for the P and the A's. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Right. I mean, since it's Lego, they, they didn't need to do that, but I guess, I guess it yeah, makes I mean, sense. Yeah, it's a little clearer then. 
And then we have a few mounted lights here. One, two, I believe there's two more on the other side. Yeah, three and four. Now let's move up a bit. I'll take this off the tripod. Uh, tons and tons of windows looking into the theater on the second floor. You can't see too clearly in there right now. Uh, here you can see it a little better. Because the light's shining in through the doorway there on the top of the roof, which we'll show you later. And then here, very, very cool piece. Uh, we've only seen this a few times before. It's actually Sensei Wu's hat from the Lego Ninjago theme. In like one or two sets, something like that. It, it's very, 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 very rare. Yeah. The, the golden version is. Right. And then we see a lot of these like trident looking pieces on the Arkham Asylum. Mm -hmm. That review is on here if you'd like to check that out. And it's also present in... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Prince of Persia. So it's not too common, but it is somewhat common. It, it's common in the sets that it's in. Or right. in the themes, the themes that, that it's, that it's in. in. And then these lift up if you want to make it look really weird. If you're a weird-minded person, like Feanor. Of course. And then... Oh, fire! And another thing that's kind of weird is that um, these can like move out. Don't pull them in too hard, though. I don't want to break it. But this is a little flimsy on the top here. Mm -hmm. In fact, this and this are on the spinny circular pieces. Yeah, the, that right there. So technically you could spin them, except stuff is going to Yeah, you, you can't move it enough. Yeah. I believe there's another one somewhere down there as well. Now here's the roof of the building, and there's a staircase oh, wait, inside. Wait, 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 wait. we forgot it. this. Oh yeah, here's the side of the building. Uh, there's just some profile bricks, so it looks like they've had to do some repairs on the building. Yep. And yeah. then also down here, uh, these are Technic pins that connect to the other modular sets. And then those are holes for connecting it to more sets. Just a few extra details. Yeah, and one, one more thing I would want to note. If you're not going to get any more of those, I would recommend taking the technical things out. So let's out. go ahead and do that then. Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah. I don't have a big set working with me. There you go. Thank you. Watch a watch. Don't lose them, though. They'll always come in handy. Yeah, I know. And then, yeah, on the roof here, there's hardly any detailing except for the door. And there's a staircase inside leading up to that door so you can get on the roof and do maintenance or if you want to be Say alone. you're on top of the world. Yeah, I'm sitting on top of the world. <gasps> but now we're going to take a look inside the building, which is, I know, what you all want to see. So let me go ahead and get this on the tripod once more. Let me get some people in there. Yeah, because cool. there will be minifigures in this area. Actually, I don't think I'm going to want this in the tripod. No, you're not. Alright, so here is the one side of the theater. There's, there's all those windows that we saw earlier. There's the staircase leading up to the roof. And then here is the balcony, or the banister for the staircase it leads up to here, which is actually on the bottom side of the building. Mm -hmm. And then here is the movie screen, which is the main attraction, of course. A little small, and that is a sticker, by the way, on... Boo! Yeah, unfortunate. So, a um, little small. And then the main problem I have with this set is that there's so little seating. I think that a uh, famous movie theater would have more than six seats. Yeah, but I mean with the space that they gave. Right. With, uh, that they have, so. They could have made this part smaller if they really wanted to, I think. Mm, yeah, because a minifigure can pass through four wide. Yeah. I've That's how it works. They didn't even provide stairs. Not that I like that. Mm -hmm. And here, that's there's the projector operator. One thing to note is that uh, the instruction booklet told you to put the film reels on this side here, but my grandfather, who's a big uh, film buff, pointed out that they should actually be on the right side. That's how they traditionally did it back in the day before they switched to digital. 
And also, they put this window behind the marquee sign right. for some reason. Don't know why. They might even have a window there if they knew they were going to put that big sign there. I don't mm. know. So, that's pretty much all for this floor. The first floor has more details, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, probably the second floor is oh, more yeah. Actually, take it off. I want to show how these are connected. Okay. The second connected. floor, I think, is more interesting and is probably the reason that you're going to buy the set, but yeah. the first floor has more details. So, as you can see, the floors are hardly connected by anything, just a few studs, so they can easily be taken off. But just be sure that you're careful when you're transporting it. You have oh, to lift, you have to lift it from the bottom for sure. And then here's... Just take it from the top and the entire thing goes <laughs> Hey, if you need to get the If it wasn't my set, it that would be funny. If it's my set, I would be irate. Well, this isn't your set. Well, it kind of is. But it isn't. But if it broke, I would be the one to fix it. Yeah, and you would love it. I guess. Uh, I thought you loved playing with Legos and building with I Legos. Do. But it's an accomplishment. Just to tell the it's viewers, I don't think there will be a T-Falls play with Legos on this. Oh, no. <laughs> no, this is a display-only set. That would be set. boring. Have yeah, the, like, oh, have the, have let's the go crash into the it. movie theater. Let's go to the cinema. Oh gosh, that would be so boring. So here's the stairs leading up to the second floor. Very nice design. Mm -hmm. And there's a little plant in the corner there. And here's some little lamps inside of the building. Yep. And then... There's the red carpet I was talking about, the entire that floor. That is not red carpet, that is this... That's what they said in the designer video. So, uh, one thing to note, the posters are double-sided, so you can see them from the outside and the inside. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's nice. Here they we have... have a, if they had a Desolation of Smog poster, that Something. Would there, oh, gosh, that'd be great. Now, inside there, we have, like, some gumballs or some cotton candy or something that looks very tasty. And since Lego the Hobbit was made, they might, they, I'm not saying that they would make it, but I'm saying if they decided to make it, it wouldn't be entirely difficult to make it. No? Mm -hmm. Now, there's the doors, of course, and they do open. I believe we showed you that already, but in case we didn't, we'll show you that again. There's Here. the view from the inside of the outside. Right. Now, I think I might have forgot to mention this outside as well. Here is the ticket counters. You get two of them. You can actually slip money through the little holes there. Kind of hard to do, but if you want to try and show that. So hard. Well, I did it horizontally when I did it. Horizontally? So that was really hard. What do you mean horizontally? Oh, oh gosh, yeah. I see. I succeeded, though. Like that. Man, and it just falls here. down onto the floor. There's not like a tray or anything. So. That's because this guy is supposed to be there. But how can he operate that and that? First, he gets everybody their tickets, then he goes over, and then he can also be the projector person. This guy's a lot of jobs. Yeah, I hope he gets paid a lot. This guy, guy wears many hats. Actually, no, he only wears one. They don't pay him a That's sad. Yeah! They only pay him $200. <laughs> How? He gets an hour? All <laughs> no, he gets all the money. So he only gets $200. So that's pretty good for... Uh, now, here are the cash registers. They are printed, so each ticket is $15. Those are not stickers, which we're happy about. Well, no, every ticket is thir 30 cents. <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, I guess someone bought a lot of tickets then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure that Wait, out. Wait, no, no, no. This is simple. Look, you take 0.3 yeah. times what equals 15. Yeah, yeah 3 times 5 equals 15. 50. Someone bought 50, 50 tickets. I was about to Actually, two people. Two people bought 50 tickets. Two oh people bought 50. That's a bit excessive. They've only got six seats. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of people sitting on the floor. A bit excessive, don't you Don't you think? Oh, he took by the block. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a tad excessive. Pardon me. Tad. Yes. Now, here's the plant on the side of the ticket counter. The very exciting plant. Well, actually, there's a very exciting piece underneath the plant. Clear mini figure head. Again, that's two in one set. You Where's rarely the ever again? see that. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, on the lamp. Yeah, basically, if you see two mini figure head, clear mini figure heads in a set, it's typically 
two lampposts. So that's interesting. It's like a water bowl for the plant or something. Mm -hmm. Very ornate. Now I know you all want to see the rest of the concession stand. I think there's supposed to be like salt shakers or they got some nice seasonings for the popcorn in there. Or something like that. Is, and if you're wondering where the popcorn is, it's in this very cool looking machine. Which is typically a mailbox. Yes. But here it's a popcorn machine. Yes. And you can see the popcorn inside there. It's just some white studs and they do come out easily. Unless you're fan or you have big fingers that can't get in there. <laughs> Look, yeah, at least I'm not Bomber. <laughs> There, Bomber wouldn't even fingers. Bomber wouldn't even be able to open the popcorn machine. No, he wouldn't be able to fit his hand <laughs> true, in here because it's so fat. So you actually can't fit your hand in there. I, <laughs> yeah, but I can like maneuver. He wouldn't be able to do this. His hand would go. By the way, off. Bomber's a guy from the Hobbit. <laughs> uh -huh. Now here we have some sauces like ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, whatever. I'm sure the red one's ketchup. The white one. I'll leave Probably that to your imagination. Because there's no hot dogs anywhere, which no. is disappointing, so. Yep. Leave it. Or it could just be more seasoning for the popcorn. And down here on this little shelf, we have some more uh, concessions. I think the wedges are supposed to be like butter for the popcorn, maybe. And uh, then some more candy. Probably, yeah. Because, I mean, it'd be weird to just sell wedges of cheese. Where are the wedges? I would love that. Yeah, hey, look, uh, if they would sell wedges sure. of cheese. The wedges are... Bomber would definitely be there. Yeah, I'm clearing. In case you can't... Oh, wait, no. sorry about this. In case you can't see the wedges... Here, there. I'll just point them out. Well, no, I want to use this more accurate. Right there. Ah. Uh, right it's there. more accurate than a finger pointing directly <laughs> at it. <laughs> but your finger's so big it's and so blocking big. it. And, they're, and they're, it's blocking. It's not a point it. to it, it's, you're blocking it. Yeah, like my, and besides, this is much cooler. Cool. <gasps> it's something new. He's to becoming a techie! Soon. Yes! Not at all. I just think Stop. that's a cool feature. I think it's a good, cool feature. Now you want an iPhone, don't you? No, yes, I don't want an iPhone. Yes, he does! I don't want an iPhone. <laughs> Those things are evil. He also evil. wants a Twitter account. Evil. And a everyone, everyone account. comment that iPhones are amazing. They're, they're evil. And Unless, of course, you can't stand iPhones. Because then you'd be lying. I'm one of the people that cannot stand iPhones. I can stand just about any other technology except iPhones. I know, man. I most of my friends who like use iPhones. Their iPhones. That's because their selfies. entire lives are devoted to their iPhones. Look, that is not true. I can tell okay, you that. Okay, Bilbo, this is my view on it. I don't like people. Can you put that the proof on? Where basically all they do with their iPhones is take selfies and text. Oh dear goodness me. Yeah, I exactly. I, just for the record, I don't take selfies. I've never taken. Selfies. If you if I find out that you've taken one selfie, you will be expelled from the order. Uh, nobody for else a knows month. about that. Don't don't make our viewers feel left out. Confused. And confused. Yes. And here's a little bit more detail in these little one by one black things. Mm -hmm. Yes, so Files. is it on to the final little bit of this review? Yes, the ratings, or yeah, yeah. Um, I do have a few building tips. I have more or rating. rating. No, we're going to do ratings. Play value. Well, yeah, that's going to be... Have fun. Wait. Have fun. Well, that's, that's up to you, Andrew. We'll let you decide. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to... No, 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 play is yours. I'm not, no, I'm not doing play this time. Andrew, you have it's to. very simple. Yeah, it's very okay, simple. Okay, okay, yes. I, okay, yeah. thank you for that rating. <laughs> All right, I'll rate the build since I built it. Uh, the one I and only Bilbo Burko 9 gives the build 9.5. Out of ten. Okay. Cool. There's some very cool pieces, but then it does get a little repetitive back here with all these tan bricks. But we get profile bricks. We get those cool trident-looking pieces at the top. If you forgot what those were, it's you are just crazy about that feature. I you? love this feature. This is awesome. Next yes, you're gonna be doing the one screen and all that. Oh, <gasps> she's no, becoming yeah. a techie. Yes. So that's the trident pieces right there. Now, another cool piece is the, well, you can't see it behind the marquee. I'm going to take this off. Oh, I wanted to show you this anyway, how the marquee comes off and how it's actually attached. It's um, these, like, rod pieces hooked into these claw pieces. Really... You've never seen these pieces before? Yeah, I've seen them before. Okay, good. The audience might not have. So. I don't think I've seen those before. 
the claw pieces right there. Yeah, look into the rods. They typically come in black. Uh. So it's on there kind of loosely. So just make sure that it's hooked in there properly. Otherwise, the marquee will fall and break. And considering that I thought it was one of the most harder parts of the set to build, I wouldn't want that to happen personally, especially this part. And also the, the clear and, and the, flat studs. And the the mini the clear minifigure heads. Mm -hmm. And the gold the golden flat studs. You yep. get a ton of those. And then the spotlight pieces, the glass panels on the door, and then all the awesome stuff inside. Okay. So nine point five out of ten for the builds. Now, Andrew, you can have fun rating the play value of the set. I shall give it zero. I would up it to a one. Well, that's what Feanor said, so I'm because going to always <laughs> listen to Feanor. Because you can roll the car around. But that 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 is. But you're not buying. I I don't think that's enough to deserve a one, because you can roll a car. I don't like giving anything a zero, so. Well, I, I we, gave, we gave the Halloween set a zero. <gasps> we did. Yeah, remember the one where the all you could do is turn on the light. The Halloween. Oh yeah, well remember it could eat minifigures. That was fun. <laughs> so one for the play, and then of course Feanor, our display expert, will rate that. I'm gonna give it a nine point eight five seven six eight. Just eight. Because it's, it's so close to a 10, but they they fell on just a few minor, minor, the minor The main minor thing details. is seating arrangements. Yeah, seating arrangements and... Uh, Mystery at the monorail? Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. care for that poster. Yeah, and, and just a few other things where they could have done it just a little bit better. Like maybe a few more details like this. Um... And the sidewalk, that would have been nice. At least you get that. But, I mean, you can't really give it a bad rating. Because this is a displaying set. So I'm giving it a 9.8 for display. Alright, Harry. So not quite a 10 in any of the factors, but it is so close. It's just, you messed up on a couple little things uh, here. And, and there. tiny, And tiny. also, if you're looking for play, go get Mines of Moria instead. Yes. Please, uh, it, although, if you want to play with your Lego sets, please don't buy this set. Although but we are more, not yeah. saying that you can't play with this set. Of course you can play with it. But normally we can Lego play sets... with any set. Right, you can play with any set, but there's no functions the, built into the set to aid in your yes. playing abilities. Without imagination, this is a 0 or a 1, depending on your view. Bilbo it obviously is a moves. 1. The car even moves. The doors open. <gasps> you can take off parts of the building. Well, that's for display. Not really. No, no. you can. I mean, it, it well, if you want to be, but... if you want to simulate the brute separator. <laughs> it's alive. It's like, Hello. It's moving. I'm going to eat you now. The moving picture is real. I saw a movie about that one time. Creepy. Okay. So someone seeing a movie and then the movie came out of them? I think so, yeah. Oh my gosh. That's, Isn't that creepy? That's what if he's, well, if that was true, then I'd want to put the Hobbit on. Oh yeah. <laughs> have, not true. But I don't know you though. would not have want to put the Hobbit William on. Bert and... I we, wouldn't would want to put really, Jurassic Park on. Would you really <laughs> want to see a bunch of orcs, orcs coming out? And I, spiders? I would. I want to practice my karate on them. <laughs> And the mouth of Sauron cut his head off. You need a weapon other than your brain, feet, and arms. I know, I get a sword before I put the movie on. <laughs> like what? Sting. A sword. Like what? A sting isn't a sword, it's a fighting dagger. No, it's, it's a letter opener. Dagger. It's a fighting Burn. dagger, my dear friend. It's both. Yeah, it's actually a letter opener adapted into a fighting dagger. Okay, it, it's is a it? letter opener. Okay, you um, realize the audience yeah. is bored out of the yeah, round. Yeah, let's go. Hey, we get so preoccupied on these. Sorry. So, thanks for tuning into this epic review. It's one of the most epic things that's going to be on here over the summer, but don't worry, there's more epic things coming over the summer as Including well. Including Minecraft videos? Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, and then the second episode of The Road Goes Ever On and On, encouraging you to not hide in your reclusive little hovels all day. 
and build Legos the world. and Are play Minecraft. Are you telling people that they're all introverts who don't want to go out? If they don't want to, then yes. If they want to but they can't, then no. And if they do do it, then no. Okay. All right. There, there you go. Right. Clarification. Yay! So. The world is ahead. Check out some more awesome link reviews, not only here, but also on Good Friday, Thank Series you. Channel. And if anyone of the second channel is up, which it's not at the moment, then check that out as well. Make sure also to check out my Mario Kart 8 series that just came out yesterday. And all of his tons of Minecraft videos. So, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. And we need to think of something random to end God! What is that? That's the, it's a guardrail. <laughs> Attack at the guardrail! <laughs>